on BBC One. Thanks for joining us and welcome to Celebrity Ready Steady Cook. We've got two all singing and all dancing guests in tonight, but before we meet them, let's welcome the talented chefs who will be teaching them how to cook step by step. They are Nick Nairn and Paul Rankin. Very good indeed. I'm very good, yeah. Yeah, the Irish accent, the Scottish accent comes You're out. You're ready to take on the Scots it's as usual. The Celtic yeah. connection. Yeah, that's quite good though, isn't it? Celtic connection. Mm, classic bag tonight, boys. Only five pounds, but mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to do justice to it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like a bit of the uh, sort of young music these days? Was there a bit of a hint there in your introduction? Yeah, yeah I know. I said step by step. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our first guest is one of the lead vocals in a band whose energetic dance routines and catchy pop tunes have taken the UK by storm since 1997. Will you please give a stomping welcome to Step's very gorgeous Claire Richards? <laughs> Fantastic. You look like you're about ready to go on stage and let it all sort of do the business, let it all hang out, as they say. I wouldn't be this nervous if I... <laughs> <laughs> you can't be nervous. This is only ready, steady, cook. I know. Uh -huh. But the idea of having someone cook for you, does that always excite you? you know? Oh, yeah. Anything that will save me a bit of a job. Oh, that's right. I'm really a junk food queen. Are you really? Yeah. Well, we're cooking well. together now. I'm not cooking just for her. We're cooking together. All right, then. Fine She's got a hold her own here. So we have a look at your bag. Let's see what's in your bag. Shall we see? Mm. Ah, ooh, now, Claire, talk to us through this little medley of uh, sweet goodies. What a girly bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, mm -hmm. so I love chocolate. So a I bit of a sweet tooth? A bit of a sweet tooth, so that's my chocolate. Mm. And a little special cakey thing. I thought it looked very nice when I was out shopping this morning. Mm. And... So it's not all completely unhealthy and horrible. I've got a bit of fruit. Yes, and a lovely strawberries. strawberries British strawberries too. Some pears yeah. and some bananas. Mm, and how much did you spend on that little lot? I spent four pound twenty-five. Four twenty-five. Were you happy with that little selection, Luke? Um, because Claire is so gorgeous. Yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, they sloppy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's going to come up with something fantastic. Oh, We're about to meet a friend of yours, aren't we? Yes, we are. Ah, now, our second guest tonight is a former footballer from Merseyside who traded in his football boots for a pair of dancing shoes. He teamed up with Claire and the rest of the band, and they were started singing and dancing around Britain to the delight of many of us. Please welcome Steps' one and only Lee Latchford Evans! <laughs> Oh, wonderful. How are you? All right, mate. Good. Doing good. Yeah. Goody, good. Do you think you could wear a chef's jacket like this, uh, Nick? A little cut off number? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. skinny arms, I mean. Yeah. So have I, you're right. You've been working out, mate. You're, you're working good. out. It's all I carry in the shop. Bit boring. Right, no, it is. <laughs> Do you go shopping quite a lot then? Are you uh, quite good in the kitchen? No, no, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, the best, yeah, fantastic. so good. But you've uh, been out and bought a few goodies for Nick, so let's have a look then, tip them out on there, let's... I'll okay, bet no girly bag here. here. Let's have a look, eh? <laughs> oh, now, well, slightly Sorry about different. That. Yeah, we, can, <laughs> we can just yeah. get rid of that. Talk to us through this little lot then, Lee. Uh, well, because we've got such a sort of hectic schedule and we have to sort of eat healthy, really, I thought I'd get some noodles and obviously some vegetables and... Bit of lamb, actually. Mm. Now, how much did you spend on that little lot? It was just under a fiver. 
Oh, well, that's quite good. Because that's the idea of the show, you know, classic bag is yeah, under five pounds. Not too bad. Happy with that, Nick? I think we can do something with this. Okay. Yeah. Get those taste buds ready, eh? We'll do our best. I'll come back and see in a moment. Sorry. Okay, now, Paul, what are you going to cook for <gasps> the lovely Claire? I'm not going to cook very much. Well, uh, chocolate mousse, I don't need to cook that. I'm going to mm -hmm. make chocolate mousse with mm -hmm. that. I'm going to bake some pears with lots of sugar and butter and sort of caramelised. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make like a strawberry chocolate gateau thing. That's about it. Some caramelised bananas. Yeah. We'll basically just have a good time and we sing song and a bit of a groove. <laughs> Would you like the sound of that? I do like the sound of that. Yeah, all that have. lovely chocolate and strawberry cake mm. and oh, punched pears and stuff like that. <gasps> oh, I bet you can't wait. All right then, <laughs> I'll come back and see you in a while. Now, over to you, Nick. What are you going to cook for Lee? Uh, culinary adventurings. Mm. Um, we're going to um, just cook the noodles off, make a, a rostia of some of them and uh, char grill one of the lamb fillets, put that on top. A little red pepper, uh, yellow pepper vinaigrette. Yeah. Um, I think a bit of a soup, a bit of a broth, you know, lamb broth, and um, maybe a bit of stir fry the rest of the noodles. And um, if we've got time, a little frittata. A frittata? Yeah. Frittata. What dance move would represent all those wonderful flavours? I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to think of something there, won't I'm we? I'm surprised Lee? he said all that from that, to be honest <laughs> with you. They're incredible. These guys really Fantastic. do come up with the goods. But You'd think we've done it before. <laughs> mm. Will they achieve it in 20 minutes? Let's find out as I say those famous words. Ready, steady, cook. Here I go. All right. <clears> there we go. I'm all fingers and thumbs. Can I bring up your go. board here for you, Paul? Okay. You're always going to be using that, now. aren't you? Yeah. What I need you to do is... Can you break up the chocolate, sort of cut it up? I can yeah. do that, yeah. And then we're going to get that melting and... Get um, a few pops Ainsley, can on. you just peel the pears for me there, please? Just joking, just yeah, joking. I know yeah. you, I know you. You're having a go already, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Now, these, what about these chocolate muffins? They're, they're, they're very versatile. You can do so much for I quick desserts, can't you? I don't know. I never had those chocolate muffins before. Ooh, you need to oh, I have. Here, look, chop it, chop it just like this. I'm over here, Ainsley. OK, if no, you, you can. I'm over here with Claire, all right? I'm, I'm looking at the muffins. <laughs> You chop it like that? Yeah. Okay. Sort of, yeah. Something like okay, that. Okay, mm -hmm. and then, well, well, let's taste the chocolate muffins now. I think they're quite good. They're kind of sticky. The children do love them. And, you know, sometimes all busy. You can't, you can't make cakes every day. So it's really convenient. Oh, they're little bits of chocolate. We'll taste some oh, chocolate. Oh, one minute already, oh, gentlemen. Is this your sort of breakfast now, then? Most of the time, yeah. Stop mm. like this. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, first thing first, I need to get the pears on. Yeah. Because so you peel those down and poach them off, do you? No, I'm going to caramelise them. I'm uh -huh. going to put them in, the, in a wee pan, butter, sugar, whack them in the oven and just forget about them. Yeah. And they take on all that lovely kind of toffee. Yeah, just taste. toast it or turn them over all, every yeah. now and then, all that sort Are of thing. Are you struggling a bit there, Claire? Oh, it's Gee. a bit hard. I know. N nice and easy, that's it. It's easier that to eat right? it, isn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. That's absolutely not perfect. Too big. No. It's only going to be melted down, so don't worry about that too much. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm just, I see that uh, Nick's doing something, so I'll let you get quite advanced. I'll come back and see in a moment, Bye. all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Cut that now, a couple of minutes so. gone already then. Okay. Oh. okay, we're just doing a bit of uh, pepper slicing here. Yeah. Then cut them into strips like that and then cut them. Da, 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 like just, just like that? Just like that. Just like oh, that. Fantastic. Right. Now, what, are you, what exactly are you doing to that lamb? Uh, well, the first bit of it, we're going to char grill it. So I've just seasoned it up. Mm -hmm. Salt, lots of salt on there. Good. Yeah, very nice chopping skills mm. over there. He's he looking good, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Um, professional football dancer and now chef. I oh, know. There's a oh. no <laughs> end to the boys' time. My mum would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> bit of salt, bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. Just whack it into the charcoal pan. We're going to cook it, get it nicely grilled up, then leave it to relax. Yeah. In here, we've got the base for the sauce for the uh, stir fry. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a sweet and sour sauce. So we've got some caster sugar, that's just melting. Oh. A little bit of uh, vinegar. <laughs> yeah. What's it's squirting your eye. Oh. <laughs> just as well, wasn't the onion. Mm. Oh, okay. yeah. And um, then in here, this is the base for the soup. So I've got a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, and I've diced up one of the fillets. I'm just yeah. going to season it up with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm just going to fling it out, cook those off, and then we're going to add the onions and a bit of pepper and a bit right. of broccoli. Now, you talked about the top of the show, you talked about the neck of lamb. Yeah. Uh, could, could, could people use other cuts of this or other types well, of meat? Well, yeah, you could use rump for this. Yeah. Okay, for cut from the jigget. Mm -hmm. Or you could use the loin of lamb, which is the fillet, the best part of the lamb. All right. But this ne neck of lamb is actually really good value for money. All right, I'm going back because I think Paul's going to be doing something wonderful it's on the with instinct. Tears. Look, it's smoking it. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, oh. okay, well, let's get rid of that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out it comes. <laughs> Oh, wait, Claire, what are you doing? kind of hot stuff this, Claire, is, I'll tell you. You grabbed hold of that and it started smoking. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Let's get rid of that. <laughs> There's nothing like the manual way of doing things. Do you agree? Oh, no. Oh, go on. There we are. I'll start you off. Look, look at that. Can you just shake like that? Can you do that kind of thing? <laughs> of course you can do <laughs> that. <laughs> go on, Claire. Shake them hips. Show us I can't. Of course you can. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. All right, now, what about these caramelised pears, then, Paul? OK, I'm... I'm caramelising a bit of sugar here. Yeah. As, as soon as that's done, mm -hmm. the caramel's done. I'm going to I'm going to let it down a little bit. Yeah. With a little bit of water. Yeah. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of butter, a little bit of lemon juice, and then I'm going to whack it in the oven. Okay. Ah, yeah. And then that caramel is for the bananas. To right. caramelise the bananas. <laughs> so that, that will in. kind of melt down a little bit. How's it going? Then? Oh, let me oh, give you a hand me. here. Oh, don't worry. You're a oh, big softy. I'll stand there and do it. It's quite difficult, actually. You've got to sort of build up, you know, build, build up a bit of the old stamina. Right. To sort of do it. It's called kitchen stamina. I've got actually, I've got to ask you, what, what's the best thing and probably the worst thing about being sort of a, you know, a pop star or being in a pop band? Um, I don't think there's any worst thing. The only thing is sometimes we get a bit tired because we're working constantly. We kind of work 24 hours a day sometimes. Yeah. But the best thing is just getting up on stage and performing and, you know, yeah. that's what we're here for, really. Of course. And what about the rewards? You know, of, you know, people, everyone at home thinking, Loads well, I Loads of want... money. I oh, know. Loads oh. of women. Oh, no. What's the most extravagant thing you've ever bought yourself, treated yourself with? What was the first thing you wanted to buy? First thing I wanted to buy? Um... I don't know, I always wanted, like, a designer handbag or something. Really? Yeah, but I think the most extravagant thing, I bought myself a house. Oh, I have a little house to live hey? in. Here. And you're getting Lawrence Llewellyn Bone round to decorate it, or you've got your very definite own ideas. Oh, no. Me, me and my mum did it, really. Mm. And it's still not ready, and I bought it nearly a year ago, so it's still not finished. Yeah, lots of and lovely it's only colours. Little... Yes. Really? Lots of greens and terracottas and reds. Well, what about and... your mates? Do you... That's enough, Ainsley. Oh, well, I red. don't know what yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah, well, I told you getting carried away. Yeah. Well, I'm quite loose. Your yes. mates, do, do, your ma do you keep your mates, or do they all go by the wayside? Oh, no. I mean, it's difficult to keep in touch with them sometimes because we are always off travelling or, you know, one end of the country sure. or the other. But, yeah. you know, all my friends have been really supportive and, yeah, yeah they love it. And they come round. You've got to take them out for drinks yeah. and sort of the other meal, haven't you? Yeah, know well, I mean? they just like coming to Steps concerts and, yeah. you know, and then we go out and go to the cinema and stuff mm. when I'm at home, so... Mm. Oh, lovely. See that? I just added yeah, some yeah. boiling water to that. No, OK, you... I need you to dice up some butter for me there. Yeah, well, she's very good with your very good knife skills. You diced up that chocolate perfectly. But isn't it true that you originally wanted to be a cook, a chef? I did, what? actually. Mm. I did, a very, very long time ago. That was kind of... But I only ever used to cook cakes. She cooked a cake okay. last night. Did she? What's I made that? a Christmas cake. You made a Christmas cake? Yes. Yo-ho! Well done to you. Were you practising for Ready, Steady, Cook? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's OK. 12 minutes to go, guys. Now, you put the sugar in there, your pears are in Do there now. Do you want this done? Let's cook yeah. it down. Um, Lemon juice, butter, a yeah. little bit of vanilla, and yeah. then uh, that's us. Whack yeah. it in this the oven. Up. Forget about it for a day or two. All right, I'll come back and see you. I want all of this done. All right, now, oh, over to you, Signor Nick. OK. How's it going? Oh, the, the, the caramel's melted. Yeah. And then I've added some white wine vinegar, a bit of white yeah. wine vinegar. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit of sesame oil, a yeah. little bit of soy sauce, and if you've got some chilli, actually, I might add a little bit of chilli powder. Uh, chilli flakes. Chilli, little chilli flakes. No, you, just, you want to drain them, Lee, get all that done. water off. Yeah. yeah. That's it. A little bit of uh, chilli flakes Ooh, in Do you there. like it nice and spicy, Lee? Do you like a bit of a kick? I don't mind food? spice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of yeah, seasoning, a little bit of salt. Yeah. Right, that's got to be Oh, fantastic. It's coming away You're sprinkling everywhere yeah. tonight. You're really giving it the old one-two. A little bit of onion, a little bit mm. of pepper in there, and then we're going to add a little bit of uh, a splash of white wine in there. Yeah. If we get the white wine... All oh, right, then, yeah, lovely. I'll get you a little splash of wine. And chop this out. Yeah. Now, what about yep. you? Lee, I've got to that. say, I was just talking to Claire down there about, you know, the... What she said worst. about me now. Yeah, <laughs> no, the, the best thing and the worst thing about being a sort of pop star. Does the same apply to you? Is there nothing that's really happened or what? Um, the best thing, I think, is you get to meet so many, you know, Good new chefs. people in your life. Yeah. Like chefs, for example. Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, you do get to travel the world, you get to see a lot of things, a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it's only airports and hotels, unfortunately, and studios, yeah. but you do get to travel a bit. Um, and I think the worst thing is no one's quite invented a time machine yet. Yeah, I know. So, do you want to get places Yeah, you just want to get you? there. The travel is yeah. awful. Uh, that kind of really binds you. I get a bit of watching a load of movies. Do you really? Yeah, it's Do you not, not watch all the movies and doze off on, on the plane? On long journeys, yeah. yeah. It's great to do all that. That's, what have you bought that. yourself, Lee? I've got to ask yourself. She was saying a, a beautiful house Claire's bought herself. I know. So jealous. Mm. Um, I've got a car, I think, is probably my most extravagant thing. Yeah, what's I've that? bought so far. Uh, just a little coupe. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's nice. it, you've done it up inside. No, it's cute. It's big furry it's really nice. Have you got all that, eh? Hey? Furry yeah. steering wheel. And a big furry <laughs> steering wheel. Hey? A bit, bit of fluff on the dashboard there. Yeah, Some no. dolly dog nodding about in the back. Some <laughs> lean and question mark on there. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, you're out there. You're hunting, are you? Hey? I could be. Have you? Have you got a girlfriend at the moment? I haven't, no. No? no. Oh, girls! Oh, girls! Lee's looking for the perfect <laughs> one. <laughs> Look, he's putting me off here. He's making time go, what else do I need to no. do here? Um, no, help me. No. Chat, you just chat to Ainsley. Oh, I know. What about this? I was saying before, nearly a professional footballer. What Almost, happened? Yeah. Why, why did you give up the football boots? I mean, there's big, big bucks out oh. there now, isn't there? Yeah, it is. It's a long story, but I'll cut it short for you. Yeah. Um, I used to do a lot of martial arts, play a lot of football, and do a lot of dancing all at the same time. Mm. And um, I just literally signed and paid my fee to go to um, stage school. Mm. And at that time I did that, a professional scout came up to me and spotted me and wanted to take me to Wimbledon. Yeah. So I was torn really? in between two directions. Yeah. Oh, did you regret it at all? Uh, no, I can't regret anything because it's going so well yeah. with what I'm doing right now. That's I love awesome. watching football, I love still yeah. playing whenever I get the chance. Well, so. I think everybody, you know, I sit down there, and what you guys have done is you've really brought a kind of an energy, a lovely style to dancing, and everyone watches it, and all the kids are getting up, and the parents too, you know, we want to do a little bit. It's well, nice. That's the idea, yeah. Just you fancy, fancy, fancy. Okay, come on, come with me. You oh, don't mind about I can do it. Claire, on the spot Claire, and do a bit of dancing. Claire, as long as you don't ask me. Come here, Claire. Would you like to join me and Lee over here, Claire? I'm just chopping Not just me doing this. <laughs> 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 oh, that's it. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we've got okay, a little bit of music. Go, OK, you ready go, to do go, it? Go. OK. Go. 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 Play that music. Come on. Come on, then. Come on, then. Back row. Ready for this? Oh, Come on. Come on. Come on. You uh, okay, you got seven and a half stupid. minutes left, yeah. gentlemen. The, um, seven and a half. Oh, oh, that that was <laughs> okay, I tell you, now, I tell you that lot, cooking though? is so much easier <laughs> compared to dancing. Oh, well, you're not much of a dancer, are you? I'm really not a dancer. All right, now this is what you talk about the resting, isn't it? Just taking yep. it, just leaving it there, letting all those juices relax. Here, this is the noodle rosti. So we drain some of the noodles, yeah. toss them with some sesame oil, yeah. a little bit of season, some salt, some pepper, and we're just frying it just till it starts to set. Yeah. Once it starts to set and crisp up, flip it over on the yeah. outside. side. That's the like a crispy noodle pancake. It's just indeed, yeah. Wonderful. Thanks for that, Nick. OK, back over to you, sir. Now, yes, I'm making yeah. seven minutes little strawberry gatto. Yeah. Don't you think I did way better than Nick Nairn on the old dancing there? Did you see me? Did you yeah, see me? Yeah, Wasn't yeah. that good? <laughs> <laughs> never stop me now. What's what he mix? like? What was he like? I know. I know. Ah, now those bananas look good. You Don't they look good? good? Yeah. Just get a wee, grab a wee bit of vanilla from over there. Here we are. That's it. Is that this thing? Here we are. Oh, vanilla. Do you want the extract here? Yeah, please. Yeah, Just extract. Uh, put a little bit of that in. How much mm. is a little bit? Oh, Ainsley, you, you, you tell it. Tell me mm. why. That's, oh, that's oh. enough, yeah? Just a oh. splash in there. Oh, no. what do you cook when you're on tour then, Claire? I don't cook anything when I'm on tour. You just literally get... No, we, we're lucky. We have them... Um, we have catering every mm. night, so about half five, six o'clock every mm. night. After we've done a sound check, we go and we have these very nice people that make us a lovely dinner every night. Oh, so, yeah. And what's wow. your favourite then? What, what, what do energetic dancers need? What type of diet? <sighs> um, Shove over there, ain't. They always do really quite healthy stuff, but I think my favourite's got to be a roast on a Sunday. Yeah. Really? Every Sunday we get a roast, yeah, it's really nice. Oh, wonderful. And do you, do you all sing away from the stage? I mean, when you get out there, she used to do karaoke. You were the karaoke queen years ago, weren't you? Yeah. She used to stand up in their local pub and really give it some. I did. Yeah. I did. What was your favourite? What did you? Because everyone has a favourite song they can get. You know, like New York, New York. Some people have. What was yours? I always used to sing. I will always love you. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh. That one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can you do that? Give us a top I'm note. Good at that one too. No, no, no. I will always love you. Good. Is that good? That's you like that? Fantastic. That wasn't too bad. That's James Bryan, isn't it? Sounds like. Mm. No, no. <laughs> that James Bryan. Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Whitney. That's what she said, Whitney. She was yeah. the queen, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. Whitney. She, she still was, is. Yeah, still she doing is. it. Yeah, And uh, who fat. do you listen to that at home? When you go home and you're chilling out there, 
Would you, would you pump up the volume to? Um, I listen to a lot of stuff. There's a lot of pop music and stuff, but <coughs> my all-time favourite is Karen Carpenter. Oh, really? Oh, I used to listen to the Carpenters when yeah. I was a yeah. lad. That's, that's kind of how I started to sing, really. Yeah. I saw the Karen, Karen Carpenter story on telly once, and that was it. I was completely smitten. Yeah. What was your favourite track there? I don't know. I think it's probably got Stop. something close oh, to Oh, yeah, you. wait yeah. a I'm minute, not... Mr. Pope's man. That's a yeah. You're going to cost us a fortune if you keep singing all these songs, you are. <laughs> I'll come back and see you in a minute. All right. <laughs> now, over to you again. Oh, look at Mr. Speed. Whoa! Here. Every time I come, you're chopping herbs, Lee. Hello. He's... Hello. I just time it for you to come over. That's what it is. <laughs> this, is a quick chop. this is apprenticeship. <laughs> oh, lovely. Hey, so, what was it like in America, Britney Spears? Fantastic. I mean, you know, you were supporting Fantastic. her, weren't you? Yeah, it was really good. We were a bit, um... A bit nervous, really, because we weren't sure. We'd yeah. never been to America. They didn't know what we were about, and yeah. all the Americans are quite, you know, cool, hip in your face. Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, we got a good response. Yeah. And Brittany did actually personally ask for us to go out and do it with her, because oh, she'd seen right. us and heard of us over here. And mm -hmm. So I thought that was quite sweet. Of course it is. Lee fancies Brittany. No. She <laughs> does. Gonna... Is he fancy? Do you fancy Brittany, then? No, what happened was there was a press article. Now we know what he's going to put in his car, Lee and Brittany. <laughs> No, but th there was a press article saying that we were actually an item. Yeah. And we'd never been out or anything. It had, like, dinner yeah. dates and all this, and so I don't know. Yeah, but what we want to know, Lee, is would you like to be an item? What, with Brittany? Yeah. Uh, she's a beautiful-looking girl. She's doing very well. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> she's got a nice big house. She's got a nice big house. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> House. We said house. Oh, so I thought I said something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, Mum. But um, <laughs> three minutes, gentlemen. Three no, minutes. She's a bit young, I think. A bit young yeah. for me. She's only eighteen. So. Yeah. I could turn a few years' time then before you pop yeah. the question. Yeah. You know, when I'm fourteen, she's a bit younger. Oh, that's fine yeah, then, yeah. isn't it? Oh, all right. Where do you want these? Mm. Uh, this is going to go in here. Okay. Lock okay. And and what yeah. I've got to ask you is that yeah. you know we talk about people making movies. All Saints have done one, of course. Yeah. Before that, it was the uh, famous group. Um, the Spice Girls. The Spice Girls. Are you guys going to be making? Steps going to be making a movie or not? There's there's been some offers mm -hmm. um, individually and as a group. So um, I think we just say wait and see really. Yeah. So we never know. Would you like to? Well, I did a lot of acting when I was in college, and yeah. that's a bit of a dream of mine really yeah. to get out there and be a bit of a movie star. Yeah. I'd like to give it a go. Football player, dancer, try. performer, actor. Chef. Oh, you've got it all in your wonderful <laughs> Chef. stuff. That's it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So the little rusty just turned that out nice and crisp mm. on the outside. It's still nice mm. and moist on the inside. Okay. And then we have a, a vinaigrette here with some onions, some of the, the uh, yellow pepper, olive mm. oil, lemon juice, and the broccoli. Great. And we're just going to. Okay. Two minutes to go, gentlemen. So two. The sauce and the garnish. Mm. And if you, if you cut the bits of broccoli up nice and small, they don't really take much cooking. About two minutes or so maximum yeah. cooking time. Just spoon that around the Beautiful. outside. It's all in presentation, isn't it, Nick? Well, some of it's in presentation. It really is. But I do it? believe, Ains, that if you cook the food properly, the, the presentation sort of just takes care of itself. Yeah. Right, we're going to sort this Absolutely. out. Stuff Absolutely. Like Absolutely. Frittata's just... Okay, red or white wine for you? ...setting there. Um, okay. I actually don't drink wine. You don't drink wine? No, no problem don't. at all. I'm sure we'll be able to get you some water or something okay. like that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, do you great. Want one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes. That's OK, it's all coming towards the end now. I think That's I just it. broke the fridge. Uh, do you drink, clear? Would you like any wine or a little glass of red or white wine? No, I'm fine, thank you. OK. Yeah, oh, it's a very good tidying up, aren't they? Now, I'm what not... are we doing here, Chef? OK, have a look at this, everybody. You can see there. I'll just move that out of the way for you. I just it. got it. To get this out clean, Okay. Yeah. you've just got to heat up this little metal ring, yeah? Uh -huh. All it's doing is... Wow. OK, look at that, clear. look. One minute to go. Wow. There's the music. There we are. Gee. Yeah. Give me some nice big sprigs of garnish. Oh, look at this, Claire. All the pears are coming out. That's OK. Remember what we had at the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what I need. What oh. I need. What it, 45 Where, seconds. Where's my sauce? It was in that little bzz, bzz, bzz here, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we are. Where's my spoons? There we are. Beautiful sauce and spoons. Everything's coming that's together. The best thing. That's, that's it. Uh, beautiful. 30 seconds to go. Ah. That's it. Get those garnishes on. And Can you clean the plates for me, Claire? Claire. Clean the plates? Yeah. With what, this? That's it, that little thing. That's it. Wipe the edge of that one there. Oh. That's it. 20 seconds to go. That's it. And all that bit there. That's it. All those little chocolate bits. Well done, Claire. Yeah, lovely. Perfect. <laughs> Come on, boys. Ten, nine, Some eight, of these chili flakes. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. That was a little touch. Well, 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 well. 
Looks fabulous, doesn't it? But I wonder how it tastes. Let's find out. Now, Claire, I want you to taste everything that you've got there, OK? Everything. And oh, what are you going to call fair? this, uh, Paul? What else could I call it except made with tender, loving Claire? Oh. 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 That's good. That's good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, tender loving Claire brought you along some strawberries, mm. pears, bananas, chocolate and chocolate muffins. Tell us what you did with them. We started out with the pears. We made a caramel, mm -hmm. uh, peeled the pears, half them, scooped out the seeds. And then when the caramel was there, we let it down with a little bit of water, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of butter and a split vanilla pod. Mm. Put the pears in, whacked it in the oven, just left it until they're tender and starting to color. And with that, we serve a white wine savoyon, which is just egg yolks, a little bit of sugar, some white wine, whisk it all up until it thickens, overheat. Mm. And then this one here, we've got a layer of the chocolate muffin underneath. We've got half strawberries there, and then it's, mm. it's very simple, this. This is easy. On goes the whipped cream, a little bit of chocolate muffin in the middle, mm. top it off with the whipped cream, mm. cocoa, strawberry sauce, easy peasy. Mm. The chocolate mousse, this chocolate mousse will be a bit of difference because it's got crushed up muffin in it. So it's just lightly whipped cream. Don't whip it too far. Some melted chocolate. Let your chocolate melt, but then let it cool down a bit. Don't, don't fold the cream in while it's mm. hot. But we added some muffin to that to give it an interesting texture. And then just caramelized bananas and a wee bit of muffin on top. Mm. This is her favorite, I think. I know. <laughs> Do you like it all then, Claire? I'm just checking to see if I like it. Oh, well done. Excellent. Well done to you too, Paul. Now, mm. over to you, Nick. <sighs> you get stuck in there, Lee. Make sure Have I got you... to eat now? Yeah, yeah, of course yeah, you, you do. You try... What are you going to call it? It's going to be amazingly spectacular. <laughs> Lee brought you along some neck fillet of lamb, noodles, onion, broccoli, and a yellow pepper. What did you do with it? <laughs> well, we char grilled the uh, the lamb fillet, let it relax, and you can see carved in. Uh, when I've carved it, it's nice and pink, no juices coming out of it, mm. nice and caramelised on the outside. Um, cooked the noodles and then made some of the noodles into a mm. roche tea. And then we had a, a sauce agré doux, which is a sweet and sour sauce, which yeah. the, was the caramel, the white wine vinegar, the soy sauce, the Worcestershire sauce, um, and um, a little bit of sesame oil, lots of chopped fresh coriander, the noodles through that, and bits of the broccoli and the peppers and the onions oh, and yeah, garlic and all that sort of stuff. I'm just there. amazed at what he did with what I brought. I know. I it just think that's incredible. Isn't it? I really do. Well, I was yeah. too. Um, and then we just fried off the uh, the other lamb fillet, mm. diced it up, fried it off, a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, some onions, some of the pepper, cooked that down, a little bit of tomato puree, red wine, some vegetable stock, lots of fresh herbs to finish it off with, and um, made a yellow pepper and um, broccoli vinaigrette to go around this. Yeah. And then frittata, just what was left over, bunged it in a pan, cooked it in a little bit of butter, seasoned it up, a couple of eggs, a little bit of cream, put it over the top, just set it and then turned it out of the pan at the end. Wonderful. And that was oh, wonderful. It. And you're impressed with this, aren't you, Lee? Mm. Hey? Very. Uh, <laughs> should you? Oh, he's worried about the onions. I onion tell breath. you, both contestants are totally satisfied. But what do our audience think? Will it be the Nan Tomato or the Rankin Pepper? Tomato. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please vote now? Oh, it's a uh, red tomato. Yes. <laughs> 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 Well, well done. Thank you. I've got to say it now. There's a nice I know. It's still matter. eating. <laughs> you're, still, you're still having a bit of nibble. Mm. And you can overcome by the excitement, perhaps. I was not expecting that. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. that's really nice. <laughs> but listen, there's £1,000 there towards your favourite charity, is, yeah. which is... Have you got it's one? It's the NSPCC. NSPCC. Wonderful. <laughs> well done to you two. Today is excellent. Oh, Come on. Darling, <laughs> Condolences, but you don't go away. We won't let you leave here without something. And oh, look at this. thank you. We've got this beautiful celebrity <gasps> ready, steady cook clock for you. We know how to treat our celebs right here, you know. Oh, yes, we do. There we are. And you can hang that up in your new house. Thank you. What? I need a clock in my kitchen. It is. It's a lovely clock. Perhaps we'll get the chefs to sign it for you. Thank you so much for coming along. Thank and lots you. of luck with the success of Steps in the future, Thank yeah? Thank you very much. Wonderful. And, hey, hey good luck close. to you too. You've really close. given some people some ideas there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us. Until next time here on Ready, Steady, Cook, do have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a join us, guys. Bye-bye. An hour of cookery starting on BBC Two and Ainsley's back helping friends with dinner in half an hour. And in a moment, Rick Stein drops in on East Anglia for his seafood lover's guide. Next this evening on BBC One, the National Lottery, Buried Treasure.